Time to take a moment and focus your energy for the week. Come on in and join me. Yes, I'm a little early tonight, but it's Christmas Eve, so come on in. Let's focus our energy, set it, close out the year. Terry Ann Hyman here with Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. Come on in and join me. I know many of you probably not on social media right now and with your families, but I just wanted to go ahead and close out and welcome the holidays and close out the year. So come on in and join me. Come on over and join the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. We have a lot of fun posting information on spirituality, metaphysical works, Reiki, energy, all those many things. Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on over and join me. So how is everyone tonight? Maybe you're going to catch this later. It's Christmas Eve. All the little ones getting ready for Santa Claus, right? All that energy. Yes, so much going on. It's been a huge amount of days, it seems, since Thanksgiving. I know that's when I first started celebrating with my kids and family and all. And here we are, Christmas Eve, opening up to the miracles, to the giving, the receiving, the joy, the spreading the cheer, and mostly just opening our hearts. It's been an intense year. We've gone through a lot of discomfort, a lot of growth. That's where it comes from. So come on in and join me. So we take a moment, center our energy, and close the year. All right? I'm going to go ahead and just share this on Facebook. Do the same if you don't mind. Just share it out. Maybe somebody else is sitting there all alone tonight and could use a little inspiration. I know for me the holidays aren't always the easiest, but tapping into the spirit has really helped me. Opening up, finding that deeper part, meditating, taking a nice bath. Those are all the many things I know for me that helps me get through this time of year. What is it for you? What is it that you do? If you are alone or don't have someone to celebrate, what is it that you do for, for you to get through this time of year? Sometimes it can be difficult. I've had many things happening. <laughs> so I know for myself, just chilling, taking it easy, connecting with spirit, the lights. I've rearranged my set again. I love the lights. I just love them. They make me feel so alive and they make me feel so good. Yesterday, we had a really full house yesterday at Birmingham Yoga doing a sound bowl, a restorative yoga, and it had lights everywhere. And I was talking about how much fun they are and how they make me feel just super good. They really do. And so, I, yeah, that's one of the ways that we can empower our spirit during this time of year. It's no wonder we love to see them outside and all around the neighborhoods, right? Definitely. All right, I think I've shared it out. Maybe you'll do the same. Say hello, come in, give me a thumbs up. We really drew some beautiful cards for this week. Perfect cards for ending. Really perfect cards. So we're going to talk about those in a minute. So as you look at your year, it was really intense. If you look at the numbers, 2017, that equals a one. So it was a one year. And generally speaking, one years can be hard, right? There's a lot of new energy that comes forward, a lot of paving the way, or maybe not even paving the way, but laying those first bricks, so to speak, really opening up and, and really <clears throat> feeling like a little chaotic, maybe, like you're uncertain where we were. And that's exactly what this year has been for many of us, right? We had a lot of things come in, Trump, hello, stirred a lot of up, things up. We've had all that energy coming forward, all that Scorpio energy coming forward. That's really helping us to push through this discord. I actually talk about it. I actually talk about it on the Empowered Spirit Show. I have a year in review, taken from the best clips from the year, the most popular downloads. And Robert O. Williams, actually, he really nailed it. And I really spend a little time talking about it with him and how this discomfort is really good for us and how it is a part of our evolution and making the changes and raising our vibration. So the podcast is probably going to air... Tuesday or Wednesday, all right, giving a little break tomorrow, being the holiday. I'm trying to also wind down. I'll be taking a week break here, too, just to kind of go into myself and do a little dreaming and visioning as I plan that new year coming forward. But, yeah, we talk about it, about that discomfort, and maybe you've noticed it, too. Maybe you've noticed how difficult the year was for you. But did you also notice where you turned up and shined and showed up for yourself? Did you notice that? Did you notice your accomplishments this year? Maybe it wasn't everything, all right, course correct. You know, I've been talking about that, and that's okay. But what did you accomplish? Where did you open your heart? Where did you dig into your spirit and learn more about yourself? That's what it's about, right? When it gets down to the end of the year, that's really what it's about. What have you learned? How have you grown? Where's your spirit taken you that you didn't think you'd ever get to? 
Yeah, that's where I think we can find the depth of our soul, the enrichment of our life, and really be able to understand exactly where we are, individually and collectively. Because, yeah, we are growing. And we talk about that. I love the clip we pulled out. He compared it to the blooming of a rose, all right? How rose is so different at the end than when it started. Hey, Karen. Hey, Laura. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Come on in. We're just going to do a short meditation and look at the cards. Just kind of pulling all the energy together from 2017. All right, as we go to open this week, we've got the holidays, all right? So that's a lot of miracle energy and heart opening. And hopefully, hopefully if you are alone or you're by yourself, that you can find a way to just kind of go into the spirit and just kind of take the day to chill, to sleep, take a bath, things that you haven't done, go to the movies. You know, that's sometimes what I do as well. And then just take a moment, too, to be quiet, to really go into your spirit, to look at what the year is for you. And as you go through this week, open up to that. We're still building in that new moon energy, all right? We come to, a, some say full moon on New Year's Eve and some say New Year's Day. So it really just depends on the calendar and where you are. But for the most part, we do start out next Monday with a full moon. So we're still building that energy this week. Perfect time to really continue setting those intentions for the new year. And Mercury retrograde, gone. It's moving out as of yesterday. Really moving out. So you probably will start to feel a little bit of clarity, your voice opening, communication coming forward that's kind of been stuck. All right, we still got about a week or so to clear that out. But you'll start to notice that that energy is moving forward as you go through this week. And then, of course, as we come to the weekend, we'll feel that full moon starting to pull up, start, starting to open up, and we'll feel the emotional body start to pull as we come into that full moon. But it's in Gemini. I think it's going to be not too intense, and with all the activity of the full moon, I mean, of the New Year's, it'll feel pretty good, and it'll be fun to look and see. Of course, you probably have heard we're going to have two full moons in January and none in February. I also saw today on the, um, somewhere, Facebook maybe, but every... Like one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. All the dates coincided to Sundays, which is kind of interesting, I think. Right? When those numbers just fall out. So yes, this week we're raising the vibration even more through the miracle of the holidays, through the light that's coming in. We're in winter now. And like I said, it's a great time to set your intentions. It really is. And it's time to close the year, right? As you get towards the end, it's time to kind of close your year. Let go of what you don't need to bring forward. We did a little bit of that from fall into winter. So whatever else it is, I know if you can see around here, I've been going through files, throwing out paper, cleaning up, inventory, all those things that we do at the end of the year, which really helps us to open up to that new year. It really does. All right. So as we um, we'll look at the cards in a minute, but before we do, let's just take a moment and ground our energy, pull it all together. Maybe you've been running around and hopefully this will help you to start out this Christmas Eve energy. So wherever you are, if you can, just take a moment with me. Take a nice deep inhale, lighting a little sage. And just bring spirit in. Exhale out. Exhale out all that running around. Maybe you had last minute shopping. Maybe you're still shopping. Who knows? Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale away all the excess energy. And just find that place in your heart right now to connect. As we open up to this holiday energy, take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Just send that breath all the way down deep into the earth. Inhaling. As we call in Divine Spirit. Our masters, our teachers, the archangels, call in your spirit guides. Ask that they work with you and through you to guide you as you move through this week and as we go about to close the year. Bring in that support, that energy. Take another deep inhale and exhale. We've just opened up to the energy of winter, which sits in the direction of the north. That's where we dream. That's where we vision. So bring in that extra support. Call in those that have passed on. Call in for that guidance as we honor the north, the east, the south, and the west. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Opening up to your desires, your wishes. Opening up to that joy and that miracle in your life right now. All around. Inhaling. And exhaling and just dropping into the heart. Feel all the awareness right in the heart. And just open up the heart. Sending it all through your org field, all around you. Send it out. Inhaling. 
and exhaling. Let love surround you. Let peace surround you. Breathe it all in and exhale it out right through the heart, opening up. Inhaling and exhaling. Just let go of whatever it is that no longer serves. Let it go. Let it drop down, coming into the heart. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel yourself centering. Feel the heart opening to the joy, to the light, to all the miracles. Bringing the energy back, feeling your feet on the floor, feeling that nice breath, that nice depth in who you are. Feel the heart opening out. Taking a deep inhale, coming back. All right, so maybe you drew a card or two, right? Kind of jump right in. Maybe you did a card or two, chose one, two, or three. We're working with the wild unknown. Looking at the energy as we go to close this year. Very powerful cards. So the first one that comes up is this Father of Pentacles, all right? Very similar card I drew for the end of the year on the podcast as well. The Father of Pentacles, very powerful card. We can't help but notice the beautiful rainbow in the antlers, all the lines coming in, all of that energy. So the Father of Pentacles is really someone that's very stable, abundant in their life, able to create, to get things done, really knows how to bring that abundance in, that prosperity, very grounded. All right, so this is a card that just will help you to take that aspect of yourself as you go to close the year, really grateful, really grateful for all of your work, good, bad, or indifferent, right? Just offering gratitude. That's how we up our vibration and that's how we increase it. But bringing that energy in, look at the beautiful antlers, that's strength, that's beauty. And that's in the pentacles. So that's our earth, that's our money, that's our work. So be strong and appreciative in what you've created this year. All right, the second card. Sean, I know you're not on here now, but I definitely thought of you when you drew this number, all right? The Son of Swords. This is a very powerful card, too. This is somebody that is hugely, hugely determined, all right? So if you drew this card, know that that determination you've been noticing lately is coming forward for you, all right? If you can see the card, you see all the lines coming in. You see this eagle on his perch with the sword. So really determined. Now, the only thing about this card you do need to be careful with if this is what you chose is that you don't have blinders on. Like, don't forget to look at the big picture every once in a while because this is super focused into a new purpose and new determination. But lots of success will come forward for this card. Love it. All right? So that's kind of taking all the energy from this year, moving it forward into the next. Now, the third card is the Emperor card. All right, I love this too. Very strong card. Again, it's like standing tall, doing our purpose. I love this because one of the things it reminds us to do is to really take it all in. Trees know a lot, right? That symbolism of the tree and how much the tree sees and knows, all right, from that growth. And that's how we can look at this card too, from your year. How much did you grow? How much did you learn to see? And I'm just not talking the eyes here. How much did you open up? to that intuitive part of who you are, right? To that really strong power. Look at the sun, look at the connection. And that's what this card reminds us of, to really own our work, to really open up to that part of who we are. And we're gonna need this as we move into next year. We're gonna need a lot of this energy going forward. We really are. Changes are coming. They really are. All right, the universal card is so perfect for all of us. The universal card here is the Nine of Cups. Beautiful card. It's like a rainbow. This is a wish card. All right, so just really take a moment. What is your wish? As you gather all this energy from this year, what is it you'd like to see forward, come forward for you? And wish upon it now, right now, as we open up the intentions for that new year. What is it for you? This card is supporting us in that. The cups is our emotion, our heart, our passion. It's got the moon. It's got all these beautiful rainbow colors coming up. And it is. It's just like whatever it is that you're wishing for and wanting for, put it out there. The universe wants to support you right now. So as we go to put all of these cards together, this being the universal card of just making that wish so it is that abundance in your life. It is that work that you're doing. What is your next step? What is it that you wish for with all of this work that you've been doing? Put it out there right now. What are you so determined with, all right? How can you create all of that beautiful vibration of wishing and wanting and really turn it into something that you're looking forward to as you move to this new year? And be strong, be that leader, have that energy to see and to know and bring those visions in. 
definitely align with that superpower of who you truly are. Taking a nice deep inhale. Just let all those cards soak in. As you bring in the end of your year, thinking about where you were in January and come all the way through, review your year as you go to close it, as you move through this week. Notice where you are now and notice what it is that you wanna bring forward. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale out. So I just wanted to close with a little blessing for everybody. I'm not, not going to be on next week. I'm taking the week off. So I'll be back on the 5th with this energy focus moving forward. The podcast Empowered Spirit Show will definitely air probably Tuesday. Got some great clips. I've got Robert O. Williams. He was from the Beach Boys. Deidre Hayes is going to be on there, her voice. And then some other clips from our various uh, people and various guests. So tune in to see who's on there. Definitely, you'll find that. You can get it on any of your favorite apps. I'm actually changing. I'll be off of Blog Talk. I'm moving off and onward, upward, yes, to Lipson. But you can find it on Apple Podcasts. You can find it on Android. You can find it on Castroid. You can find it on many others. I'm learning so much about this podcast world. So look for my voice to come even stronger. Yay, next year. All right, guys, as we go to close, take a moment. Bring all your energy in together. Opening up and bringing in spirit. Inhaling and exhaling. And so as you go to start your new year, may you be a catalyst for light and love and bring inspiration to all of those who you meet. May you know who you are and where you are each and every day. May you have the strength to stand tall, even in the face of conflict and the courage to speak your voice even when you're scared. May you seek to know your highest truth and dismiss the pull of the lower chakras. And may you have the humility to follow your heart and the passion to live your soul's purpose. Take this blessing out into the new year. Surround yourself with those that you love. Raise your vibration. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much in my life. To your spirit, namaste. See you in the new year.